God mpoa sana wewe uko na uhai leo sababu ya Mwenyezi Mungu we thank God for you this morning my swahili why are you smiling at me no i, I i'm happy because every time you you, you try swahili it comes I, out I'm, well no i'm impressed uh, ye? yes i am well thank you i'm very impressed where is my mendo your mendo is coming the moment you do exams okay <laughs> <laughs> don't mm. if you ever give me an exam in swa i i don't promise to uh I promise to do well. Let me be quiet because that's the best way to do it. Let me now that now that you're speaking about exams. Let me ask you a question. Do you think that exams sometimes are not fair? They are never fair. Exactly. They ask us questions we don't know. You've been studying and we don't have answers to. You've been studying the whole term. <laughs> you've been studying the whole term. Yes. Or let's say even the whole year. Right. Or maybe you're doing uh, end of year exams which now test your might yes. on what you learned even from previous classes. Mhm. Uh-huh. And you have to sit and prove in mm-hmm. in two hours, a uh, paper paper. That you have I to know. Sit ex- and prove that you're yeah. okay. What happened if Let if that morning you. you are in a quarrel, or you are beaten by your mom? You become disoriented. Exactly. What happens if you you fall sick? You still you see, become disoriented. You see, exams have a condition. There is a condition where exams say that in these two hours you will be able to test and mm-hmm. know how much we have imparted in you Correct. right mm-hmm. but i'm trying to think about love mm-hmm. in this context in this mm-hmm. day and age mm-hmm. where if you sit anyone down and ask them a spouse mm-hmm. you know ask him or mm-hmm. her why do you love so and so so and so why yeah, do you love your spouse your, your, spouse, yeah. your mm-hmm. better half mm-hmm. or your best half why do you love them mm-hmm. and tell them whatever you say mm-hmm. don't say i they make me they do don't talk about things they do for you or how they make you feel eh. just describe why you love them do you know that's the most difficult question everyone says i love my wife because she did abcd she knew me when i had nothing so she it- makes me feel So in reality your your answer should sound like for example No, no I'm saying that's that's that's, that's natural uh, yeah, and I'm yeah. not against it. I know but I'm wondering now you've made me start thinking. Uh-huh. If I'm to answer I would uh-huh. answer I love my husband because? because he has the ability to keep the kitchen neat. Yes. Stuff yeah. like that. Ability to keep the kitchen neat is still something that He's doing for me. You for you yes. Okay. And then if I answer I love my husband right. because he's generous. It's still generosity is something that is pushed towards you. No. Mm-hmm. I see it happen to other people. I know he's he's just generous. Mm-hmm. He's generous to everyone. Yes, he loves children and we don't have children of our own. See that's an answer. He loves children. That's good. You see, what I'm trying to 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 drive at is that earthly love may 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 go through testing but it fails from time to time, especially when the conditions change. I'm trying to think about what do you think God says when he says when you ask him why do you love me Is there anything that you can do for God that would cause him to love you more Yeah You said in this this morning that the blessings of God and grace is not by works Mm-mm. Yet there are people who walk around thinking that because I, I am I need to earn Exactly I need to, I need earn, to earn God's, God's love, love. It's a lie. Trust me there's no condition. Hai mwa kengi weten. There is no condition to God's love. There's none. And like earthly love that says that you have to look. Oh she made me feel. Mm-hmm. Oh he makes the he does this for me. He Today try and describe the very person that you're with without uh, describing them ag- against something they do for you. Because the minute they stop doing those things then is the minute you believe they don't love you. <laughs> If you decided today Jesus to kneel down and swear an oath and say I will not love you God not now not ever mm. God in fact from now on me and you are over most of us have done that right mm-hmm. do you know it will not change anything nothing about how he feels about you cuz God is stand, the same yesterday yesterday and forever, forever. Yeah. stand in front of your girlfriend your boyfriend today and tell them by the way i want nothing to do with you from now on we really complicate love don't we we do we do when do we stop complicating i think when we replicate god's love when we understand god's love yes so there are times let's be honest mm-hmm. that we don't understand god's love mm. Why has God woken you up this morning? <laughs> Do you think it's because you had an important meeting? Mm-hmm. 
What if you closed your eyes and it was the last thing? The ceiling was the last thing you saw. That's right. And then when you open, the first thing you're seeing are these big feet that belong to an angel. Says, <laughs> <laughs> I, Yeah. I want you to think about it. Yep. Yeah. Why do you think God loves you? <laughs> so don't get disoriented. Uh, the love of God is pure. Unconditional. It's unconditional. It is the most unexplainable thing in the whole world because on a end yes thieves. i wanted to say yeah. that <laughs> your name is nani yeah onesmas and you are a thief Kine. in fact tonight you're planning to steal tonight god still loves you oh my you you're just coming out of a drug situation you're so high right now you're so high yeah. you know how god loves you he does you know how conditional we are we think that god hates our enemies <laughs> <laughs> God has God wants to prepare a table wow. in the presence of enemies. If he didn't, he'd be preparing a fire. He heard it. He, but he prepares a table. He loves us unconditionally. It's not despite of or in spite of. No, 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 no. God. By the very existence of Tin and Zuki, God loves. Shaka in fact, rubbish. it's because of this love that you exist. Come on now, somebody. And he can never take away no, his love. No. How much if we loved one another in this kind of way? Half of a hundredth. You know, yesterday we celebrated World Radio Day. Yes. Every day you have these voices e? speaking in your ear. Right. Would you love us if you found out that we had a, a, a history e. that uh, that pointed to prostitution? Ooh. Would you would you love us if, if we had a if you found out we had a past that points to abortion? Mm -hmm. Alcoholism. Mother abuse. Would you love us today if you found out we we sound so great on air, but we live in poverty? In, oh, abject. Would you love us if mm. you found out? Yes, we love Jesus, but last night I was drinking with my friends. Mm. Would you love me? Hmm. God loves me. I, I'm assured of that. That's all I know, and that's what matters. God loves me, indeed. He called me. He called me his own. He loves me. Mm. He created me in his own image. So here's your homework after hey. this fantastic devotion. Hey. Go stand in front of a mirror. Yeah. Just the way you came into the world if you have to. Right. And say, God loves me. me. Tell yourself, self, <laughs> God loves you. Ooh. God loves you. <laughs>